Hi! We thank each and every one of you for helping us reach 400,000 subscribers. We thank you for hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button and for leaving your comments and making this channel such a popular one. We also sincerely thank all those other viewers who have been watching our videos without hitting the subscribe button. We are quite hopeful that you will hit the subscribe button soon. Once again, thank you for helping us reach this milestone. Today's video is all about learning how to create this beautiful jiggly wiggly text animation in PowerPoint. You can use this fun and interesting animation in n number of situations. For example, you may use the animation to make an announcement like this or you may use the effect to write someone's name like this and wish them on their birthday or for any special occasion. This is a beautiful effect which is extremely simple to create. I'll show you how to do it from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to the Auto Shapes Gallery and pick up the text box tool and write the text you want to wiggle. Here I'm going to write the name of Arti, my wife and business partner who's been working silently behind the scenes to take presentation process where it is today. Let me choose a bolder font. So let us go to 2 cent empty condensed extra bold. The font choice is completely up to you. Then I'm going to really increase the size of this to 96 or even bigger. So the bigger it is, the better. Once you finish writing the text, then select align middle and align center to ensure that it is smack in the middle of the slide. Then let us go to shape format, go to text fill and say no fill. Then go to text outline and choose a light gray color like this. Now the point is not to show these lines, but to use these lines as a guide to help us write on top of it. Now to ensure that this text remains in place, I'm going to lock its position. For that, select the text box, go to home, go to select, selection pane, and use this lock icon to lock this text to its position. Now, if you're using an earlier version of PowerPoint, you may not have this facility. Don't really worry too much about it. You just need to be a wee bit careful about writing your text on top of these lines. So let me click here. So we are free to write on this. Let us close this. I'm going to write this using a pen tool. You can find that under the draw tab. Now, if you don't have the draw tab available in your PowerPoint ribbon, all you need to do is to go to any of these tabs, right click and say customize. And then here on the right in the customize the ribbon option, make sure that you check this option called draw. And once it is done, you say, okay, now you have draw tab available. And in that we are going to use this option called pen. Let us click on it and that will allow us to choose the thickness of the pen. I'm going to keep this fairly thick, which is 3.5 mm. I can choose any of these colors to write with. Even if I want to have some kind of a glitter effect, I can do so by using these options. Now I'm going to keep this fairly simple. Let us choose red color. So we have got our pen in place. The next step is to start drawing on top of these lines. You don't really need any special digital tab and pen to write on these lines. You can use a simple mouse because we're going to take advantage of the jittery lines we produce using our mouse. So let us click on this and then let me draw here. You can see that I'm making a very rough line. It doesn't necessarily have to be precise. So let me draw here and let me draw on these lines. Now, you don't necessarily have to draw continuously. You can always take your hand and then draw the way that you want. So can you see here, it is much easier when you do so. And then let me draw the inside as well. Let me continue doing that for the other ones as well. Now, at any point of time you feel that you've not really drawn well, you can always hit Ctrl Z, for example, in this case, I feel that this bit is a little too much. I can hit Ctrl Z and I can redraw once again. And that is the reason why it makes sense to draw in small steps like this because it really allows you a lot of flexibility. Now, I'm going to do this just one letter after another.
Now that I've finished drawing one slide, I'm going to duplicate the slide and I'm going to write again. So let us right click on this, duplicate slide. Let us select all these elements that you've just drawn and hit delete. And let us redraw whatever that we had done earlier. We're going to do this just two more times so we can have them on a loop. So once again, let me go here and then right here, you can see that I have a fairly shaky hand which is really very good. Now that we have done the second one as well, let us right click and duplicate the slide. Delete. Now that we finished tracing these lines in the most horrible way possible, we can go to home, go to select, go to selection pane and ensure that the text box that we have got as a guidance is turned off. So let me go here to text box and hit on this eye icon so it disappears. So let us go here, do the same thing for the previous one and for the previous one. Now we can close this. The next step is to go to transitions and then apply advanced slide after and choose 0.25 seconds. This duration is just right. If you want it to wiggle faster, then you can have the time duration reduced. If you want the effect to be a little more pronounced, you can increase the duration. It is completely up to you. Play with different durations and see the effect that you like. Now, once we have applied transition to the first slide, we can click on apply to all. So the same effect is applied to every other slide as well. The last step is to convert this into an animated GIF. So let us go to file, go to export and then go to create an animated GIF option. Ensure that the size is extra large. So you have a full HD quality animated GIF. You can choose make background transparent. So you can place the animated GIF on any background and it will blend seamlessly into it. Now you don't really have to do anything to any of these settings. Say create GIF and then choose the place where you want to keep the animated GIF. In this case, I'm going to use desktop and let us call this RT and let us say save. Now that's it. Let us go to file, go to a new slide and then let us change the layout to blank and then let us insert the GIF that we just created. It is on the desktop. Let us insert that and that is the animated GIF. Can you see here? It is of very high quality and there is this jiggly wiggly animation for our text. I can use this as part of the sentence. Like say, if I want to reduce the size, I can do so. And I can insert my text around it and say, thank you, Arti. And of course I can make this bold and increase the size substantially. And I can place this over here. And when I go to slideshow, this is how I can say thanks to Arti and try this to write your own jiggly text. Now, the thing is, there might be people who would teach you how to draw on slide using the draw tab and also teach you how to work with transitions. But very few people would teach you how to combine both in a creative way so you can come up with these kind of interesting effects. In our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, we show you how to use PowerPoint in a creative way so you can impress your audience like the way that I showed you. The link to the program is in the description box below the video. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.